Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. So in an earlier video, I went over how to remove noise in a fantastic free open source tool called Raw Therapy. And today I wanted to dig a little bit further into how can you reuse settings like that? How can you borrow the same things, the same work you've already done and reuse that without having to recreate it every time? Well, there's a simple answer to that and it's called processing profiles. And let's take a look at that. So this is Raw Therapy. It is currently version 5.8. Uh, that is the latest that's available right now. I know they have another one in the works, but this is what we've got right now. All right, so looking at this a little bit, let's just say that kind of borrowing from an earlier concept that I wanted to look at some noise reduction. In fact, I have that on here and I've got uh, some settings and maybe I want to flip on sharpening as well. Um, make some changes there, do some work, and I want to remember what it was. I like the way it looks. I'm going to be working on a series of images that are like this, same lighting condition, same subject matter, real little variance between them, except that it's you know maybe different poses or whatnot. What I can do then is up here in the processing profiles, this is the tricky part, is there is a save button here, all right? But it doesn't do a whole lot unless you select the modules <laughs> that you're going to use. And also you cannot do this really unless you have an image open. You can actually start the program without an image and you can go flip on modules and go click these buttons, but it doesn't do anything unless you have an image here really on the canvas and working on it. So understand that. And also when you're ready and you have the modules the way you want them set up, come up here and it's actually control left click. It does kind of warn you up there if you hover for a second, but it's easy to miss. So control left click, that brings up this dialog window and it does scroll by the way, that's not quite so obvious either, but you'd want to flip on things like that where you'd want to say, okay, I, I want to use, okay, so this is in the details. So in the details settings, I could flip them all on, but I don't want to in this case. Uh, so really the only things I'm looking for are the noise reduction and the sharpening. Those are really the only two things that I made say changes for and I want to use. So I'm going to say okay with that. And it brings me directly here. It will default you into this space. This is Ubuntu, so this is where it drops me and this is fine. Um, if you're in Windows, I imagine it will be somewhere else. Um, but this is where we are. You can give it a name of something that will make sense to you. I'm just gonna call this test in this case. Um, and then I can save that. And what's gonna happen here is that I can now look at my profiles and you can see I now have that as a reusable profile. In fact, if I go into an image, I can simply go up there and load it and it will be good to go. All right, and to give this a test, I don't have to save anything else from here. We can see there is nothing on here. No, no, no noise reduction, no sharpening. I can go into my save profiles. I'm gonna throw on my test and lo and behold, it loads them in. Didn't have to touch anything. It loaded all those presets at the click of a button and that will trim off probably about 99% of the work you need to do without having to reapply the settings again and again and again and again. This is two clicks and you can ratchet through all of these images very quickly that way. So that's a quick and easy tip. It's a reusable feature and something that you can employ as you're working. Again, the best use case for this is really if you're gonna be working on a series of images that share the similar conditions, the lighting, the environment, and subject matter, just different kind of poses. Because if you vary too much, you will probably need to play with the sharpness a little bit. You'll probably need to play with the color adjustment or the, uh, the noise a little bit because that will get impacted by how much light is bouncing through your shot. The amount of luminous, the amount of gamma, um, the amount of prominence that needs to uh, be corrected, that kind of stuff. So use that with a grain of salt, but there it is. 
and I hope that saves you some time. If this was useful to you, please give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you haven't done that already, and go check out the previous video if you haven't done that already, uh, looking at how we can use the noise, and we'll be doing a sharpness video as well coming up soon, so don't miss that out. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, leave a comment, ask a question so we can grow stronger together in our experiences, and thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me to learn something new, especially in this free open source tool, Raw Therapy. Go check it out if you haven't done that already.